shadow baking. This is also called light mapping. This is not to be confused with ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is the touching of two objects and light dying in the area where it touches. So, here's a different story altogether. We're going to study it here and back in the engine. Okay. Now we have a plane in a box. Okay. Two very simple shapes. And when you're learning this stuff, you should go down to the lowest common denominator on it, and that's pretty basic. What we're going to do is right click at the top, right on this line, and go split area. Go to UV image editor. I'm going to go onto the plane and go into edit mode. Hit A, U, unwrap. Then I'll make a new image and call this plane. I'll hit OK. Next, do the box. Same story. Go into edit mode. Designate your seams. Can't see it. I'm going to go into wireframe. Highlight those last two. Mark those seams. A, U, unwrap. Now, let's assign a new image to this one. We'll call this ball. And hit OK. Alright, so when I highlight this in edit mode, it should have ball. When I go back to the plane, highlight it in edit mode, it should say plane. Okay, good to deal. Okay, let's go back to, or let's go to texture mode and you're going to see this. Now when I render this, you're not going to really see the shadow too well. I guess you can. So you can see over here there's a shadow. So let me zoom out on my camera a little bit. And you can see this shadow. This shadow is being caused by this light over here. And if I take this light and go to its properties, I can turn that shadow down a little bit as far as the color. Now you can see that going on. Now it's really important that you know that all the normals are facing in the right direction. To do that, you can highlight the box and hit N and go to face normals. N. So in this case, the box face normals are facing out. That is correct. Same with the plane, it's facing up. Just in case you're using any weird objects. Here in object mode, we're going to go in to the bake feature. And I'm going to bake those shadows so I can always see them. And I do that by going into here and hit shadow. And hit bake. Now you can see there's that shadow. And no matter if I delete the light, the shadow is still going to be there because it's baked in. The minute I move the object, you can see that the shadow does not update. So this is a baked shadow. Let's do that to the box. So. In this case, I'm going to highlight the box and hit bake. And you can see that auto updates. Now, in this case, um, if I remember right, you have to do some screwy stuff with the secondary one. So hold on. A. 
image reload bake there we go image reload bake and you can see that updates now here's the thing I have to prove let's make a duplicate of the box and put that duplicate on top and scale it down Okay. here I'm gonna update this shape by going into reload and then bake notice when I hit reload both of them turn black okay everything looks good right except for the very top of this box and why is that why does it have such a weird shadow on the top of it let me do this one more time and then I'll tell you okay let's go to a image reload notice both of them reload even though I just wanted the one so that's hint number one and when I hit bake it updates All right. They're sharing the same texture. That's what's going on. They're sharing the same texture. So, if I went in here and took this box and went in an in image new, then we'll call this box two. Hit OK. and this one I'll reload let's burn these together notice everything is functioning normal now so that's kind of the thing you have to know if an object shares the same texture space or take the same texture it's going to do this now let's see what that means back in the engine this is surely a cool trick no doubt about it and before I leave this place let me illustrate another thing you can do let's go to full render Okay, so this is what the image looks like under full render. No matter if I kill the light or what, it's still going to look that way. So there are some major advantages to this. I could set up my light, my scenario, my everything. I can go in here and assign a different type of material to it. I can go to the materials and add a new one. Add maybe a, a shiny surface to this one. Maybe this one, I'll hit and assign it a new material. This time I'll add something weird to it, like clouds. Okay, now let's see what happens when I go back to object mode, highlight all three, do a bake. Okay, you see none of the cloud data, and you see none of the spectral capabilities. All right. Play, go to GSL. But in the actual texture itself, you do. Go back to 
textured. So there's the texture right there. So that was a cloud data one. And down below, this was the shiny one. But I see none of that shine. Again, the one thing you got to know is Blender is kind of buggy this way and you have to hit reload every stinking time. So you have to go to each item, hit A, reload. Then go over here and bake. And it turns out. So if you don't have things that show up, just know that in most cases you have to hit reload to bake a new set. So you see this one does have some specular capabilities because over here it's lighter. It's not shiny shiny, it's just lighter. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. But again, just remember they have to have unique textures in order for each one to be individual with an individual shadow. So now let's look at what that means back in the engine. 